Broadcasting live from the beautiful Venetian and Sands Expo Center in Las Vegas, Nevada. Broadcasting live from the beautiful Colorado Convention Center. Broadcasting live from the Georgia World Congress Center in Atlanta, Georgia. The training 2015 Conference and Expo. And we've learned over the years that these trade shows have been a big waste of money. We, we go there and we have a booth and we have somebody standing out there. And maybe, you know, maybe I need to wear you know, a skirt or something. But <laughs> <laughs> we do something to look better, looking to attract you know, uh, potential uh, uh, customers. But you know, we found that those are just a really a, a bad vest- investment of money because we don't get the right buyers. Um, right. And, and they're not serious. They just want to stop by and pick up you know, some type of tchotchke they can bring home for their kids. Um, but you're right. So we're making investments so that we can have the right type of conversation with the right type of people and deliver the right type of message with them and build a relationship. We don't <laughs> tell the organizers because, <laughs> uh, well, one, we don't want our competition to know about it. There you go. Um, and, and secondly, I, I think they see all the traffic and just all these people congregating around our booth. That it just kind of clogs up the walkways uh, at the conference. I felt bad for the people across around the us. way. It, I mean, well, it, like the way that you had it scheduled, we had a high value target from start to finish Trust of every trade show day. Mm-hmm. Right there, there was somebody being interviewed every minute of every day, almost. And then you see the other booths where hours are going by, hours where they're just talking to themselves or texting, or they're not even engaged with anything. That was us <laughs> before we engaged with Radio X. <laughs> Guarantee it. Praying that somebody would walk by and talk to us, make eye contact. It gave us an opportunity to have multiple conversations with the type of folks and companies we want to do business with. Training Pros works with typically Fortune 500, Fortune 1000 companies, providing any type of contract consulting talent that they need to design, develop, and deliver training to their employees. You know, we want to learn as much about that company as possible. We want yeah. to learn as much about their learning organization as possible. And we want to learn as much about that individual that we're going to meet with as possible. So that when we go in and have that initial conversation with them, we can really connect with them on a personal level and really tie what our service offerings are to what the responsibilities are of that person. We are currently in 12 markets, and our target within the next uh, three to four years is to be in the top 20 markets across the United oh, States. Wow. Well, it's, it's all about building that relationship, right? Yeah. And, and so our approach with working with a Radio X is what it has been to position ourselves as thought leaders in the industry and have compelling opportunities to have touch points with these prospects. So when we are inviting a, a local learning leader, maybe a, a, you know, a director of training, to be participating in our um, interviews at the ASTD conference, first I have a touch point with them to give them a call and invite them to be on the show. Second, they say yes, and now I've got a couple opportunities to kind of prep them for participating on the show. And then I meet them in Dallas at the, at the conference and, and uh, greet them before they go on the air, and then we talk afterwards. And we end up talking a lot of shop about what their company's doing uh, in the industry. And then afterwards, I set up a time to meet with them to deliver the audio from that uh, interview and deliver a, pr- a picture of them framed uh, being on the That's air with the nice headphones touch, on in front of yeah. a microphone and, and the big training pros logo behind them. <laughs> they love that. And we're stroking their ego and presenting them as an, as an industry expert, which is what they are. And we're building that relationship with them. And then, by the way, at some point they ask, well, tell me more about what you guys do with training pros. And they're like, oh, really? That's interesting. Mm-hmm. I can use those type of services. You know, and then, then, the, then of course, you know, we're, we're now into building that relationship, and they know what we do, and now it's a matter of staying in front of them. 